hope that you're all well as per usual. Um, okay, so basically what I want to talk about today is, I don't know if any of you have been dropped an inbox uh, recently uh, about a guard called SET, S-E-T or S-E-T-H. Uh, especially for those of you who make videos, uh, you may have had this so-called message dropped on your videos. Okay, these people are deceived. They claim that the true God is a God called Set, S-E-T, or S-E-T-H, and that he was in existence millennia before the God of the Bible, uh, Yahweh, um, and they claim that this God is the true God. Okay. Now, the, the only thing with that is that these people are deceived, and I would not have any of you be deceived. So I pray that all of you who watch this video receive this by the Spirit of Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach. And do not be deceived into falling away from sound doctrine, into falling away for doctrines of devils and departing from the faith. That Satan might snatch the soul from, from your hands or from, you know, and, and cast you into the lake, or get you cast into the lake of fire and take away your eternal life. Besides, if you do turn away from the truth, you were never born again to begin with. Anyone who de departs from the faith and, and follows doctrines of devils was never born again to begin with. But anyway, this God set, okay, is a deception. It's actually Satan. When you hear the God set, you must know that they are speaking about Lucifer, about Satan. See, the god Set was the Egyptian god when, when uh, Israel were captives in Egypt and uh, the Egyptians made the Israelites slaves. The god of the, the, the Pharaoh at, at, of that time was worshipping a god called Set. Okay? And our god Yahweh gave that god a death blow. Because he freed the Israelites, he drowned the Egyptians in the Red Sea, all of them. And uh, of course he carried the Israelites through into the land of uh, Mark and Honey, the land of Canaan. Uh, and he was with them for 40 years uh, in the desert, bringing them to the promised land. So that's victory for our God. So that already proves that the God set um, is not greater than the God Yahweh. Not at all, because our God is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Creator of heaven and earth, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega, and He is <laughs> He's undefeatable because He is in, He's sovereign and He's in control. Now, what's happened is Satanists to downplay their true intent in this world have since 1975. Before 1975, the Satanists had a church called the Church of Satan, started by Anton LaVey. Okay? He also wrote the Satanic Bible. I think it was in 1975, the, the Church of Satan split, and they became the, church, uh, the Temple of Set. So basically, they took on this god, uh, the Egyptian god Set. When in fact they are actually worshipping Satan. Now, Satanists send out to the media people like, well, the guy himself, Anton LaVey, and um, there's numerous others. And Satanists say that, you know, they don't sacrifice children, they don't sacrifice animals, they believe in worshipping the self. You know that... One thing you got to know about Satanists, where Christians believe that we turn the other cheek if the enemy hits us. Well, the Satanic Bible that Anton LaVey wrote says that if your enemy smites you on the right cheek, you know, turn around and smash him on the face on the other side as hard as you can or whatever the case is. Um, so they don't believe in turning the other cheek. They don't believe in uh, helping, loving your neighbor as yourself. They believe solely in evolution, and that's why many Christians today worship Satan, uh, not knowing that Satan is the author of evolution, the lie of evolution, because Satan is the father of all lies, that all Christians 
We think there are Christians that believe in evolution. They are giving pilgrimage. They are worshipping Satan and, and, and basically offering sacrifices spiritually before Satan. Okay, because that's a lying doctrine. Okay, they believe that if there's homeless people, that we are not to help them. They believe that those people are a waste in society, uh, whereas Christians believe in true Christians, true Christianity. I'm not talking about pagan Christianity. True Christianity believes that we should help and love our neighbor, feed the homeless, feed the widows. The Satanists don't believe that. They believe that these people are taking up space. They believe that... Um, the population of the world is way too great and that we should diminish it and that is why I say that Satanism is the Illuminati okay they are all one and the same the Satanists the Temple of Set the Freemason the Freemason sect um, the Illuminati they all worship Satan but what they do now is they send out representatives over the world and they say that they put up a front to say, you know, they're animal activists, the the so-called Setanians or whatever they call them, not knowing that the Temple of Set was actually formerly the Church of Satan. So these individuals who are being beguiled and believe that this God Set is the true God do not understand that Satanists started that. They stole the God. Uh, from the Egyptians, they corrupted him in, and now basically they they play they, they they pretend they worship the god of Set, okay, or the god Set, when in fact they actually worship Satan. And like I say, they send people out. They pretend that they're animal activists, that they don't sacrifice humans, um, that they just believe in the awareness of self, that they don't actually worship Satan. That's what Satanists say. They worship themselves. They believe in the divinity of each individual in themselves, that, that each individual is a godlike in themselves. That sounds like Satan in the Garden of Eden that said to, to Eve, has God said. So they basically believe that we have been given the knowledge of good and evil uh, and that God, the true God, Jehovah, doesn't want us to have that knowledge um, and that we each have godlike um possibilities in us and that's why they say that homeless people and people that hunger and uh, all those people they're using up the resources of the world and they should be done away with that's what they they believe but like i, I keep saying they water down the thing to make out that they're animal activists you know they send out animal activists into the world and they say, you know, they of the church, they of, of the temple of Seth, they Satanists, and we don't believe in sacrificing children or sacrificing human beings or animals. No, no, we animal activists. But that's an upfront. Okay, that's just a lie because there was a woman, Susan Atkins, um, in the early or mid 1900s. She um, was. Basically, she met up with the Manson family, Satanists, and um, she, she told was she was once in an interview, and she told the person that was the guy I don't know who it was. I can put the links in the description box below. She said to this guy that was interviewing her that Anton LaVey, the guy who wrote the Satanic Bible, the guy who started the Satanic Church, told Susan that he actually does worship Satan and that very f there's only a select few that know this the other Satanists are beguiled they think that they don't worship Satan they think that Satanists because th that's the thing with the, with the Satanists if you go and do research on it they say that that um, we don't worship Satan we worship self we believe that we each have a divinity within ourselves and we worship ourselves. It sounds a lot like atheism. It sounds a lot like Buddhism or Hinduism. Um, and uh, that's why all those religions of the world, they belong to Lucifer. They belong to Satan. You know, Satan doesn't need you to, and, and false Christianity indeed, Satan doesn't need you to acknowledge him as Lord. Okay. 
if you into any new age religion or satanic religion or worship the God set which is actually uh, what the Satanists have formed this God to be then you are worshiping Satan and um, so basically that, that's what they, they put out the front they, the, the, the negligent or ignorant should I say the, the Satanists who don't have knowledge um, they think that they're worshiping themselves. They don't. They don't even believe in Satan. They think Satan is just means the adversary. They don't believe that he's a true entity. But when they come to the top of the satanic tree, so to speak, those guys literally worship Satan. There was Susan Atkins. She was convicted as a murderer. Okay, she was actually put on death trial, which eventually got changed into life imprisonment. She was denied parole 18 times. She admitted in an interview, okay, that Anton LaVey told her that he worships Satan, that Satan is a true entity. So for those Satanists out there who think you don't worship Satan, who think you've been beguiled by the father of all lies, indeed you worship Satan. He is a true entity. The angel... Uh, that, that, that God created, that rebelled, the chief of angels that rebelled against the Most High God, Yahweh. And many be, many angels followed him. So do not, if you're a Satanist and you think, you think that you don't worship a true, uh, that Satan isn't a, a real entity, you're deceived. He's the prince of the power of the air. You're being deceived. You don't know by those that you, those, that satanic Bible that you read, you don't know what those guys truly know. And they worship Satan. They sacrifice unto Satan. All this animal activism that they do is just an upfront. And many Christians follow these doctrines today that Satanists have started. Evolution is a lie. Evolution tells you that this, it's the survival of the fittest. That's what Satanists believe, survival of the fittest. If your enemy smash, hits you on the cheek, turn around and smash him on the, on the other cheek. Okay? They believe in survival of the fittest. Satanists don't believe in loving your enemy as, as, as yourself. They believe in helping those who help themselves. They believe in helping your immediate family or those that are close to you or in a circle. But your outer circle, they don't care about. They don't care about it. if you dropped it, if you don't if you didn't know them and you drop in front of them and you die of a heart attack, they wouldn't care. They wouldn't phone an ambulance. They wouldn't phone a hospital. They don't care. They only care about the inner circle. They only care about those close to them. They don't care about loving your neighbor as yourself. They say that the Christian religion is or the Bible is a is a book uh, on how not to survive. You see, and that's the difference between Satan and God. The, the Satanists also believe that, that Christians or Christianity is a religion of submission. And indeed it is. We submit ourselves to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. But they believe, uh, they say that any religion, uh, Satanism, is embracing. Instead of denying sin, you embrace sin. And that's what many Christians have been beguiled into today. Oh, we fall under grace. We don't fall under the law. They're worshipping Satan. They don't understand what grace is. When God's grace reigns upon your life, He gives you victory over your sins. He doesn't give you the authority to embrace your sins. Mm -mm. Because the Bible says, without righteousness, no man will see the kingdom of God. And so that's why many Christians today, they believe in evolution, it's satanic, they're worshipping Satan. It's, a, it's a, an attack on the Bible, on God's word. Just as, as uh, who's that guy from TBN, Pat Robinson, who embraces evolution. Don't think he's whatever, he's of the Freemason sect, he's of the Illuminati. TBN, in fact, is probably run by them. You know, the Satanists' goal was, in, if, you, if you watch earlier videotapes of them in the, in the 60s, was to get people in power. 
and, they, and, and, and manipulate the media and so forth. Because by so doing, they can, um, you know, run the world. And basically, that's what's, what's happening. And that's why the Illuminati want to diminish the population. You know, your enemies are, are Satanists, straight, blown, full-out Satanists that have signed their blood on paper and handed their soul on to Satan. Okay, they believe that they are worshipping themselves, but indeed they are worshipping Satan because it's only when you get to the top ranks and a select few only know this, that indeed they do worship Satan as an entity. Don't let any Satanists tell you that they're animal activists and they believe in worshipping of self and so forth. No, that's just a lie for the ignorant to believe so that they can drag people into their occult. Okay, and also you never trust the Satanists. You know, uh, Lucifer says, uh, or, or the Bible says that Lucifer is the father of all lies. Jesus said, you are of your devil and the lusts of, or, or you are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father you will do. The Bible says that Satan is the father of all lies. So you cannot believe anything that comes out of the root of Satanism or, 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 or the t temple of Set. So for those of you who are ignorant, who are following the so-called God set, you must know that you are worshipping Satan. Go and do your research on the Satanists. The, 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 the temple of set used to be the church of Satan. And uh, they've manipulated the media, the songs we listen to today, this, this Beyonce nonsensical trash, worldly secular garbage music. That gets played on your radios. Turn your radios off, people. Stop listening to secular music. Turn your TVs off. Because everything you see on there comes from the roots of Satan. Start putting your heads in the Bible and start asking God for understanding. And do your research on these things. And uh, like I say, don't be deceived. Okay, they, they believe in worshipping self. We believe in denying self. We submit unto God, Jehovah, because He is King of Kings, Lord of Lords. We are not gods. They believe that each individual is a god, but only their top-ranked people understand that they worship Satan. Many of them that are in the top actually know they are going to burn in the lake and fire forever and ever, but they don't care because it, 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 it excites them that they have sold their soul unto Satan. It excites them. They are thrilled by that. And so, basically... I might do more videos on this, but um, just know these things and go do your research. I might drop a few links in the description box below and be aware of these things. Uh, God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. He, Jehovah, the one who took Israel out of Egypt, who sent his son into this world, he is the only true and living God. He is King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And this video is covered by the blood of Christ, by the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. No power, no witchcraft, no voodoo, no nothing has authority over it because the Lord rebuke anyone. The Lord God, Jehovah, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, that comes against him. The Lord rebuke them. The blood of Christ reigns omnipotent. It reigns power. It's power. It's supreme. It's omnipotent. God is omnipotent, sovereign, and omnipresent. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the great I Am. His word endures forever, and His enemies shall all be crushed under His feet when He returns. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shalom. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm.